Now I know it's been a while, but yes, I'm going to show you one of the most beautiful trails that Colorado has to offer. So thank you for your patience. And I think it was well worth the wait because this past weekend, a few of my coworkers and I drove two hours to Aspen for a brand new episode of Troy's Terrific Trails. I can get better than that. What's up guys, we're about to go see the iconic Maroon Bells, but before we go, we had to get a couple tickets, and we gotta take a bus right there, so let's go. The bus ride is a quick 20 minute trip, and make sure you look outside and enjoy the views. The altitude on the hike gets up to 10,000 feet, and that means the sun is out and powerful, so sunscreen up. Now that we're all ready to go, it's a very short walk to get to the Maroon Bells, and take a second to reel in the beauty. The reason you get such a great view of the Maroon Bells is this glacial valley. Over thousands and thousands of years, ice moved through this area, cleared out a bunch of rock and sediment, and actually carved down those mountains. They used to be over 28,000 feet tall. Now there are a few trails to choose from, but today we're heading one and a half miles to Crater Lake. If you have yourself a dog family, feel free to bring them on this hike. They're allowed on the bus and they're allowed up here. Just bring your leash, and bring the water. And just know that there'll probably be a good amount of people on the hike, but the trail isn't steep and the views are absolutely stunning. The beautiful, just gorgeous. The, the color of the trees are just at peak right now, just beautiful. So, that's a great trail. The hike takes longer than you think, just because you'll want to stop and take a million pictures. But before you know it, you'll arrive at the lake. So believe it or not, this time last year, there used to be a lake right there. Yeah, this is a perfect <laughs> example of what you would call a runoff lake. The snow catches up on the mountains. It melts down into the crater lake. And by springtime, this lake is 10 feet over our heads from really? where we're standing right now. And right now, last time this this time last year, it was you know, maybe up to our ankles, but okay. it just shows how dry last winter was. You can keep going beyond the lake, but it's time for us to head back. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that was easily one of the most beautiful hikes that I've ever been on. Now we got some quick hiking tips for you. The first tip that I have is if you're not going to eat beforehand, definitely bring some food because there are plenty of beautiful places to have a picnic. And mine is definitely plan accordingly. It does get really busy here during the weekends, especially during the fall because it is nicer weather. And my tip would be to make sure you're keeping an eye on the time. The buses that bring you up here do leave at 5 on their last trip. Also, the trail closes sometime around October depending on snowfall, so be mindful of that. Alright guys, those are the Maroon Bells. Thanks so much for hiking with us. We'll see you next time. So we plan on doing an episode once a month and if you have any recommendations on where we should go next, send me an email or send me a message on Twitter. It's right down there.